<sighs> now that's a heavy box. Hi everybody, it is Chasey Poo, and today very excited to do a huge unboxing for a new company of prosthetics. And I'm so excited because it's just, there's a lot of, there's so, so much going on in this box and I don't even know what's in it. Ah, uh, the company name is, I think pronounced Axelum? That's how I've been pronouncing it, so. So the first thing is this was shipped DHL, okay? This company is, I believe, based out of China. So when I'm looking at the declaration form, if you're interested, it says non-liquid silicone mold. So on my package, it does not say anything like big weenie, big silicone dick, big ol' peen, nothing like that. So let's open the box. Ooh just to give you a full view, you know? All right, this is the box, nothing on it. Let's open it, let's get down to this. So much tape. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see what this company has sent me. Okay, so in my box, when I open it, it looks like there's three little boxes. Oh my! This might be like the biggest unboxing I've ever done. Ooh! Box number one. Four minutes into this video, we finally got to the first box, but wow! What a beauty box. This is, wow, let's, let's open it. It looks like cologne would be in here, you know? Some, a little bit of colon. Woo, girl! So, I got a little bit of, these are uh, keychains and a little pin with the Axela logo. So the reason why I'm doing an unboxing video of all of these products is because I want you to be able to ask questions on the specific products that you want answers to because I will be reviewing each individual product. So we're gonna number them and I'll tell you the names as well. Okay, and then we got three weenies in here. So let's go with the first one. So this is the packaging. It says 100% silicone, dishwasher safe, no powdering required. Uh, now it doesn't say the name of the peen on here. So. That's fine for people who are just ordering one, but somebody like me who has this box has to now go on their website and go see which weenie they uh, sent me. So this is number one, and it's the Fusion Uncut Packer. So this is what it looks like right here. My light is real bright, so let me dim that a little bit so you can actually, there, that's a little bit better. So this is what it looks like. It has some interesting pattern. It's very, very soft. So just a first impression, Pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, this, I believe, is like 35 bucks, so it's pretty good for a packer. All right, so number two is this one here. It's the Classic, and it is 29 bucks, I think. I will say very impressed by their darker shade, honestly, because some companies, their darker shade is like barely dark. So this is very impressive that it's an actual dark shade. I really like that. So I want to just show you here. That's what it looks like. Kinda looks like the silicone packer from Packer Gear, if I'm gonna be real, uh, except this one kind of does go down. So this is what that looks like. If you have any questions about this, this is number two. Number three is this. We're going into STP land over here. It's very small, very small and compact. And it does have these ridges here, which is good for like when you're masturbating or when you're having sex with somebody. I will say they look very similar to the ones that Free Tim has, but that's not for here. So there you go. Also, if you're wondering what these on my hand are, I had surgery for carpal tunnel a couple of months ago, so these are my scars. But yeah, so just if you're like, why are your hands red? You know, so it is, there you go. And it is pretty small compared to other STPs out there. Okay, this is much heavier. Let's see which one this peen is. Okay, well the bag just broke, so that, my bad. <laughs> Oh, oh my, okay. Okay, before I tell you the name of this, wow. This kind of looks like a real magic weenie. Huh. 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 Okay, so this is the Monsieur. It's $39, so interesting. It's very soft, okay? I'll keep that for the reviews, but just so you get like a first impressions, like, I'm impressed. <laughs> so let me just show you that. Yeah. Also, what do you think of the new color of my wall? You like that? I miss having like a color, a wall color. So I got a new sheet and now it's there. But yeah. Also my hair's a mess, which is why I'm wearing a hat. Love me. Huh, interesting. I just, I'm impressed. I really like this one. 
For a packer, it's a little bit big, but some people like to pack big. It's also good if you're like planning on having a phalloplasty in the future to pack big. It's a good idea. All right, number five. This one is interesting. A little bit translucent in the color, but it's a little bit erect. So I'm wondering if this is just an STP or if you're supposed to be able to have sex with this. It did not come with any type of erection rod. So this one is called The Knight and it is a three in one. So you are supposed to be able to have sex. I'm not sure if it comes with a rod that you can put in. It is a little bit rigid though. So maybe you could penetrate this, but this ain't a review, so I don't know. But let me just give you a little look here. Again, these little ridges here that are a little bit stiff. And yeah, so. Sorry, that was the cat. So this one matches my skin tone pretty well. <laughs> All right, box number three. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got some more pins in here. A little more pins. Oh my, okay, they really got keychains. <laughs> Maybe they got too many made, they're like. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is a small packer. Ooh, girl, and she shot, she shoffed. She soft. This packer is very soft. <laughs> so this is the rock. That's what it's called. And it is very, like it's a small packer. It's, it doesn't really go down that well, but I'm sure in pants it's fine. I cannot explain just how soft these ones are. They must put something in with the silicone the way that they make it because it's very soft. Anyways. Ooh, we got another big one. Oh, is, oh, the bag is broken. I didn't do that this time. Okay, so this is the Handy. The Handy. It's an STP packer, and you're supposed to be able to have sex with it. I don't, I don't, I didn't get a rod, so I don't know if they even have rods, but maybe they just, yeah. So, okay. The Handy. It's a, it's a little bit stiffer. Um, the silicone is a little bit stiffer. It's not squishy. Okay, this is the last one that I got. And this is the Astro STP. Holy cup! That's all I gotta say. This cup is gigantic. Like, oh my god. I mean, that's great for some people, I'm just saying. Compared to, like, other cups out there for STPs, like, there's a big different... Uh, that really doesn't look that different on camera. Oh my. Well, I'm telling you that... There is a difference, and it, it's it's a nya, 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 nya. and because it has these ridges, I'm going to assume that it is also made for sex. The foreskin does not retract. Bring that up right there. But let me just like give you some of these details. You know, like it's 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 very soft, very soft on the inside and on the outside. I think I should do some ASMR with beans. What do you think? That did nothing. This would be a better sound for a peen ASMR. <laughs> because that sound is something that happens a lot. Okay, this was great. I got nine peens from Axelum. And so each one will be reviewed individually. Give me a couple of months. But if you have any questions specifically about any of the STPs and packers and whatever pack and plays that I have just shown you, please put it in the comment below and make sure that you put like number one, number two, like the number that corresponds with it so I know exactly which peen to look at when, let's say I'm gonna do the review for like the handy, I'll know to just go through all the comments and only answer the ones for the handy. So I wanna make sure that all the information is there for you. You're not a packer from Axelum, what are you? you doing here? Okay, we'll review on beauty coming up next. <laughs> Look at this beautiful girl. The love of my life. So I don't know much about this company. I do know that it comes from China, so it does take a little bit of time for you to get your prosthetic, but not like a very, very, very like long time. Like some prosthetics from Real Magic can take like over a year to get for example. So there is a delay in a couple of weeks from Axelum. I don't know if this is a trans owned company or if they helped other companies with trans products because I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm looking at these bags and they're very similar to the trans guy supply STPs. Very similar, like it's the same bags. So I don't know how common that is that a company from like two different companies from China would have like the same bags and the same like softness in STP, but 
I'm just saying they're very similar. So maybe this company has ties within the community. I'm not sure. I would like to find out more. If you know more, let me know. But just so we know a little bit of the background of the companies that we are buying for and stuff like that. But these do definitely provide cheaper options for people who cannot afford super expensive prosthetics. And again, I cannot get over this one. Like, I know you're probably wondering why there's such a big tab. Usually it's so that you're able to put in an adhesive sheet or any type of adhesive and adhere it onto you so that it just kind of stays. There's no hair or anything, so you'd have to kind of wear like a t-shirt over your pants so that it's not like you can see that this doesn't actually go onto your skin. But I think that this is such an interesting, like this peen is just... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop playing with my toys now. Before I go, the silicone seems very, very durable for me to be able to do this, and I'm not even worried by one second that it's gonna rip. Like, it just seems very, very, very durable. Like, these prosthetics are going to last a long time. I do wanna know why they're so soft, though, because I kind of do know a little bit about silicone and how it works, and silicone that's usually a little bit more, like, squishy is a little more tacky. So how, how are you not oily and tacky and stick to things? I don't Oh, near my mouth. All right, I'm gonna go. Thanks, Axelon, for sending me this. I will start with those reviews soon. Have a great week. Bye.